John, 20,000 people packing out Headingley says everything about Rob Burrow and the rugby league family. It does, it says a, a great deal about Rob's uh, sort of character and how well he's, he's, he's loved, uh, liked and respected within the game. Uh, I mean, no one I've ever come across has got a bad word to say about the fella because his infectious enthusiasm just spread through a team. He was a real team player. It was easy to get on with and he's just a real good fella. And I'm absolutely delighted that the rugby league family has, have all pulled together and sold Headingley out. I mean, that's unprecedented. It's a pre-season fixture and 20,000 people at Headingley. Uh, it's going to be magnificent and, and equally emotional. It's going to be a massive game, yeah. It's going to be a massive game and, and I, I, all I want my players to do is to show the ultimate respect for, for such a, a fine guy as Rob and also obviously Jamie Jones Buchanan who's contributed to rugby league in, in many positive ways. Uh, show respect for those two people and put on a real good performance. You know, I'd love to win uh, but I think the results are material. I think what is material and what does matter is how well we play and how well we respect the people who've paid in, the opposition, but more importantly, Rob Burrow. It is going to be a, a day of emotion. How, how do you and the coaching staff, and more importantly, the players handle that? Because on one hand, you still want to get a lot out of this pre-season fixture. We do, yeah. And uh, we're fully aware of the interchanges of the, of the legends coming on. And, but until then, it, we've got to be focused on, on it being a, a, a competitive game of rugby league. Uh, how you handle it, Mick, I don't know. I'd, I've never been in a game like this. Obviously, I've, I've been fortunate enough to play in games that's had big crowds, to coach in games that's had big crowds, but never won with, with this reasoning behind it, shall I say. So, I, I don't know. Obviously, we'll try to prepare ourselves as best we can and we'll try to react in a, in a positive way, in a respectful way. But it's going to be tough at times and it's going to be very emotional. But I just want everybody to have a, a fantastic day uh, players on both teams, coaching staff on both teams, fans on both teams, fans throughout the game, people watching on Scout, everybody to have a great day and that I feel would be a fitting tribute to, uh, to the cause. And for your squad of players this is the game they want to be representing the Bradford Bulls, they want to be in that 20-man squad. Yeah, I'm, I'm certain that they do, you know, but whether they're representing them or whether they're going along to support it, it, it matters not, uh, you know, it's, it's about Rob, it's about the day, it's about the occasion and I just want us, I want us to play our part in a very positive manner. In terms of your squad selection, can we expect to see Levy and Zongu? Uh, that's up for debate as of yet, but uh, there's a good chance. Uh, again, we've just got to finalise one or two things because uh, Reece Evans going to Leeds as uh, one factor within there and there's obviously bump, it's, a, it's a very tough pre-season that we're in at the minute there's bumps and bruises so we'll ensure that it's as strong as we can possibly put out and it's as meaningful as we can put out Is there an update on, on Liam Kirk after he suffered concussion? At yeah, Catholic? Liam's uh, training fully this evening uh, we've got a field session this evening he's done all his return to play protocol should he come through the, the practice this evening Liam will be available and, and that's one of the imponderables, you know, when you asked me about Levy, that's one of the imponderables that we've got to get, sort out on the field before we can really finalise the 13 we're going with, the seven interchanges, and then there's obviously the, the six uh, further ones who are, are coming off the bench as, as legends of the game. Before the legends uh, obviously come on the pitch, it's a, a good chance to test yourself against a very strong Super League side again. Yeah, against a very strong Super League side who I'm, I'm sure will be emotionally charged for this because as I say Rob is, is very very well liked throughout the game but he's obviously he's on a high pedestal at, at the Rhinos club and uh, I'm sure they'll be emotionally charged and wanting to play well we've got to t attempt to handle that and play as well as we possibly can as well whilst getting some of the benchmarks that we want in our preparation for pre-season before there's that celebration towards the very end. Two pre-season games in John, there's been a lot of positive takeaways, uh, what do you put that down to? I put that down to a lot of hard work, uh, I, as I say, I, I set our uh, Head of Strength and Conditioning, Adam Simpson, I set him a, a goal prior to the start of the season, I, I put it on his toes and I told him I was willing to be flexible with the rugby side to fit in with him, but he'd got to achieve these benchmarks that we'd set 
and good on him uh, you know when we get to round one if we're still in this shape I'll shake his hand and say you've done exactly what I asked of you in pre-season it's now up to us on the rugby side to put the final touches to that and it's then up to Adam just to maintain what we've got but he's done a great job as of all the staff but I've been delighted with how well we're looking in a physical condition wise. Is there any update on dual reg or any potential dual reg? Uh, there will be in the next uh, few days I'm, I'm certain about that so uh, yes there will be an update but I am allowed or prepared to disclose anything at this moment in time. And John just finally next Wednesday you're going to be unveiling the squad numbers and, and the new away shirt to, to the fans. Yeah, that, that's exciting as well, you know. And again, I'm I'm sure the fans will will come out in the numbers uh, and anticipate what squad numbers we're going to give them. I mean, uh, squad numbers are, but I think they're more important to players actually than than coaches, because uh, if squad number 99's uh, training the best and playing the best, they'll be playing. So uh, that, that's how I look at it. But I know players like that first 13 and this and the other, there's, there's always a bit of uh, argy-bargy for the starting 13 or the starting 17 uh, numbers and we'll see who gets them. But uh, it'll be a, a really good evening. I'm sure the, the players will enjoy it. I'm certain the fans will enjoy it. And then we can really knuckle down for round one against London by as final preparation against Dewsbury and York.